After 45 days and 47 matches, we are finally here. Welcome to the World Cup final between India and Australia. Uh, welcome to another edition of uh, Fours and Sixes with me, Swarup Swaminathan. Uh, it's, it's been uh, two contrasting journeys. Uh, India, un, uh, a flawless record. They played 10, they won 10. Australia lost their first two have been on a winning run since then. Uh, let's break this uh, preview into two parts. Uh, first, let's 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 focus on the host, India. What's really worked for them? Well, I mean, all, all, all the 15 players uh, really have, have stood up at different times. But it's hard to not begin uh, with the captain, uh, Rohit Sharma. The, the tone that he set at the top of the order, he's taken on uh, lots of bowling, he's taken on various types of bowling really and, and just uh, the semi-final, uh, the, the tone that he set against the likes of uh, Trent Bolt, against the likes of, of, of Tim Saudi, those really rapid-fire starts, this really helped India with the likes of Kohli, who likes to take his time before exploding at the death. And then over the last few games, uh, Shreya Sayer, he's come into his own couple of hundreds. Uh, KL Rahul, uh, you know, the finisher, he, he goes through the gears as and when uh, it's needed. Uh, Shubman Gill at the top of the order is also, without really having a single hundred to his name, uh, he's uh, had those really cute cameos every now and then. Uh, the batting's really fired and, and if the batting's uh, clicked, the bowling's been even better. Uh, ha after Hardik Pandya's injury, Mohamed Shami has played about six or seven games, but he's the leading wicket-taker in the tournament with 23 wickets and that really tells you how how big uh, Mohamed Shami has been in the tournament. Uh, b before Shami, though, uh, just with Bumrah, I think he's bowled an obscene amount of dot balls in the power play. And that's really set the tone for the rest of the bowlers to just come and do their thing. Mohamed Siraj has been a, a little bit on the expensive side, but that's understandable because Mohamed Siraj bowls it a touch fuller. He looks for the swing. And, and when he does find the swing, he can be devastating like he showed against Sri Lanka and Bombay. Moving on from the Pacers, this this five bowler attack has really worked for India because of the of the control the spinners has uh, exhibited in the middle overs. Both uh, Kuldeep Yadav and, and Ravindra Jadeja are different bowlers. Even though they are both uh, left arm spinners, they're really different bowlers because uh, uh, Kuldeep Yadav more of a wicket taker, while Ravindra Jadeja just just keeps it very very simple. Both of them have been amongst the wickets. And, and that's really what's worked for India in this right throughout this tournament is, is that the bowlers have shown ex exceptional discipline and, and they've just kept uh, picking up wickets. Uh, and the only time that a that partnership has developed was in the semi final when, when Darrell Mitchell and Kane Williamson uh, were doing their thing, taking New Zealand to the target of, of 390 odd. But even then, uh, Shami came in and produced the goods. Uh, moving to Australia, what has worked for them in this? In this winning run, well, a lot of things. Uh, uh, chief among them being Adam Zampa, the tournament's second leading wicket taker. The leg spinner has taken 22 wickets. He's given them the control in the middle overs, even though he's just been the lone, lone frontline spinner. He's given them the, not just the control in the middle overs, he's been amongst the wickets. And that's really been massive for them. Over the last few games, uh, Mitchell Stark, 2015 and 2019, bowler of the tournament. He didn't have a good beginning, but he's uh, picked up wickets in crucial phases over the last uh, two, three games. Josh Hazelwood, just, just back of a length uh, bowler, doesn't really depend much on uh, swing, but he does get some bounce, some lift of the surface. And that's that's all. Also, what uh, Pat Cummins likes to do. So, they have found uh, some really good uh, combinations both in the death and in the power play. Uh, moving on to the batting. Uh, now, David Warner, we don't really know what the future holds for him after the World Cup, but he's one, been one of the leading uh, run scorers in the tournament. That, that really tells you a lot about David Warner, the character. He likes a fight, he loves a fight. And tomorrow, I can promise you one thing he will take the fight to the opposition. Uh, the other half of Australia's uh, open, opening combination is, is Travis Head. He had to sit the first half of the tournament out because of a fractured hand. He came into his own uh, first match back against New Zealand in Dhamshala. Amazing, amazing batting. He has had a few failures, but that last match against uh, South Africa in the semi final, 60 or 40 deliveries. Reduced, uh, it was a, a tricky target, but he kind of single handedly ensured that his start meant that uh, Australia 
uh, went through with a lot of overs to sp with some overs to spare. Uh, even if uh, Steve Smith and Manus Labushin ha have struggled for runs, that that uh, middle order just you know marshaled by Glenn Maxwell, he's been that uh, that linchpin in the middle order that they really need because it's a reactive middle order and and Glenn Maxwell when he can get going, uh, no spin attack in the world is safe. Like like he showed that in that match against uh, Afghanistan, they needed a lot of runs to chase down after all those early wickets. But Maxwell, while playing on one good leg, uh, took them home in the company of, of, of Pat Cummins. Josh Inglis is another person that you should watch out for tomorrow because he's, uh, he is one of those batters who's very, very comfortable against spin and on a, on a used black soil surface. They will need somebody like Josh Inglis to maintain the tempo, to keep the scoreboard ticking on. Uh, uh, India, I think, will start slight favourites just because they know these conditions uh, really, really well. They have been on a 10-match winning run, and they have not even when and they have not been really been put under any any undue pressure. And even if they have found those uh, pressure points, uh, uh, they have had the bowlers or the batters to step up. Uh, so I think they'll just begin slight favourites. But Australia usually when they play these big matches, they they take. Uh, they take uh, whoever they're playing uh, really out of the equation because they're just mentally uh, strong. All in all, it promises to be a, a fascinating battle. Uh, that's all for another edition of uh, Force and Sixes with me, Swami Nathan. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Stay safe.